What is up guys, you've got the Oracle there with this 4 color control Linvala deck. I'm on draw and I think my hand is actually fine, since with those I can cast pretty much anything but Linvala. I have some defenses and uh, it's a bit heavy on land, but given that I'm playing 2 analysis and a, um, what's the name of that card, uh, Brilliant Spectrum, I think I can afford to, to, to you know, to keep land that are a bit heavy on land, I should uh, I should still be able to to not getting flooded out too much, given those three uh, card draw spells, and we drew a sight master which is fine. Uh, Vampire envoy is a little bit annoying, and I drew probably what is the best card of my deck at this point, since it it's basically gonna be draw for this card too, uh, which given what I've drawn so far is just amazing. Uh, that Spectrum is going to be a heck of strong. Uh, <laughs> it's quite a funny start. Uh, this deck might be very good uh, or very bad, as I said, I don't really know. Uh, anyways, it, it is rather funny. As the opponent chooses not to attack, I drew a Salvo, which is great. Uh, things are shaping up <laughs> a bit too well there. Uh, <laughs> I thought I would just die by not casting anything, but apparently uh, things are happening today. <laughs> As the opponent might be wondering, what the heck am I doing? Um, sure, I don't care about that at all. Like, really, I, I really don't care about that. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so, we have a bunch of choices to make here. I think I'm gonna discard two lands. I kinda wanna keep the Vestige around in case I draw Linvala. Um, I also have double blue. So I, I think I'm just gonna discard two islands there, yeah, I think that makes sense. And I'm gonna pass the turn. <laughs> we have a bunch of removal, a rain, wind rider and a sleep through space. And I'm not sure how this will work for me, but you know, it is definitely funny. Uh, this deck is, yeah, it, it's definitely the funniest deck I, I've got to play. I think I'm saying that every, dar every draft I'm uploading, but on the other end, it, it's quite true. Uh, my decks are getting more and more crazy and more and more funny. Um, I could keep that around for a potential Linvala top deck. Um, that being said, I feel like playing my Windrider might just be better. If I, or I could wait, because I could sleep through space, a vampire, and salvo it. Mm, I think I'll do that. Just if I throw in in Vela and I cannot cast her, uh, I'd I'd be annoyed basically. Uh, I drew an island. All right. Well, sure. Um, please stop it. I have this bug with cards sometimes. Um, no, I'm not double clicking. It's just it, it's like I was double clicking to make them bigger, but it's just when I put my mouse on them, and I'm not sure why this might be. It's a bit annoying. Uh, the opponent did not have any tricks, so I guess I'll play my fumarol and pass the turn. And uh, <laughs> things are looking funny. Uh, the opponent does have a lantern, so and put a card on. What was that? Top, I thought. Yeah, top. That's what I. That's what I seen. All right. Well, this rampart is not looking great so far, but uh, yeah, there's not much I can do. Uh, Fumarol is gonna be nice, providing me with um, a creature. As the opponent did what there? Oh, played a Phileotron, okay, I just did not uh, see that f the first time. I don't really care about it, given the the wall. I think I'm just gonna play my Wind Rider at that point and pass the turn. I don't see any reason to um, f uh, reflect on Mage yet. Even that the Oven put a card on top, which I guess would not be Phileotron, because I have a wall. That being said, it's a spell, so the Oven might still have kept that on top, since it's a good spell, even if it's walled by one of our cards. So they might have a removal, that's what I was trying to say, so I'm not sure that this Wind, wind Rider is gonna leave. If it does leave, though, whew, that's gonna be great. As the Oven put a card on bottom, and I think my, um, my Wind Rider is dying, no, it's an upkeep scry. And that keeps cry to the top, yeah. I think that the Wind Rider is dying now, I would assume. Maybe an Oblivion Strike. Ooh, a Vestige. I don't mind that at all. Um, yeah, I just don't care about that. Uh, 
Cinderellion was a good draw. Mm, at that point, I guess I will attack. If the opponent wants to block to make me not scry, it, scry it's fine. If I can scry it, it's great too. Um, hmm. I don't really think I want a Coralem guide, but you know, anticipate is fine. Um. And do I have any reason to play my Vestige and burn or coil something? I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna play my Hellion and pass the turn. <laughs> and we are taking control of already this game. <laughs> Which is funny. I guess it's the goal of the deck, but uh, it's funny that it worked because, you know, I, I'm really playing something extremely greedy there. I'm not gonna lie. Um... <clears throat> Do I want to anticipate first? I think I want to anticipate before I uh, scry. Actually, that seems better to me. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Linvala or Guardian? Uh, <laughs> what the hell? Um, uh, <laughs> it's not easy. Uh, let me reread that though. I don't think I'm gonna gain life with it. I might get the, the other ability. Ooh, well I misclick, I took the Guardian. That's, that was not what I meant to do. Um, that being said, I think it's fine. Lindvala, yeah, given that I'm, I think I'm far, I mean I'm, bi I'm <coughs> I'm winning now. I don't think that uh, Linvala was uh, needed more than the Sphinx, which is actually a bit better. I'm not sure. It's not easy. It's really not easy uh, to tell, honestly. <laughs> uh, well, I will keep those those on top. And I guess at this point I can cast my Vestige uh, to play the Sphinx since uh, <clears throat> Linvala is, is on the bottom of my library. Uh, all right. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting choice. I think I might have taken Linvala, hadn't I uh, accidentally click on the Sphinx. That being said, I think it's still fine. Uh, and now I have Lethal next turn, unless my opponent uh, does have a removal. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> the four color control deck is uh, coming through, apparently. Uh, the opponent put the card on bottom and disregard my wall. Fine. <laughs> the wall basically blocked those for quite a bunch of time and then uh, got, uh, you know, was removed from the game, so it's great for me. A card on top. Well, I would assume that's a removal. Maybe it's not. If my opponent attacks with the squad there, I'll just take seven, you know. Um, yup. I'm at 16, so I would go down to 9. Yeah, I'm really far far ahead from dying and no reason to potentially lose my Sphinx. So yeah, I don't really mind going down to 9 there. <clears throat> Alright. So. Um, yeah, I think time has come to attack. And my oven basically need to removal. Uh, they have fa 4 mana available, so they cannot use the... Um, turn again, so yeah, I think that should be game. I don't think there's anything there that protect my opponents from two creatures. Um, sure. And then you will die to the hemorrhage, I guess. Alright, and we <laughs> ended up the game with a Reflector Mage and Analysis, throwing another Analysis in the, in the hand. That's really funny and sweet. Uh, it's been a long time since I haven't had that much pleasure playing uh, a draft. Uh, I don't think I've seen any flyer. Uh, actually, two vampire. Never mind. Two vampires. Is it enough to make me want to side in the tears? Which I think is the only card that I can side in <laughs> because I don't have many playables. Um, yeah, I think it's gonna be better than a grave bursting most of the time. All right, so let's go for uh, <laughs> game two. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I love this deck. I mean, also it's I think it's the first time that I can play a really controlly deck in this set, and I just love it's my favorite archetype, so it's just great. 
Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that, and I can uh, reality on turn uh, three of uh, the unknown shores. Uh, you know, it's fine. I have now I can cast Linvala to pot potentially come back in a game that where I would have lost a lot a lot of tempo and life early on. So it's sweet. Um, guess I might as well play the Boneyard, and now I can pretty much yeah I can cast anything in my deck. We might see a flare drone there, a depleter. That's a little bit annoying, but be able. <clears throat> Hopefully, Linvala will help me coming back in this game, cause uh, here I'm gonna be able to kill the the commando, but still taking two each turn, if not more, and the depleter is gonna drain me. Yeah. I'm I feel really happy about it about having Lin Vala there because otherwise ooh, I would not like my chances to match. Uh drawing that is fine. Uh I think it will probably end up trading with something. I'm quite far behind there. Cause I'll go down to eleven if not less. Yeah, nine now. Ooh. Hopefully I don't <laughs> die before I can cast Linvala. That'd be pretty sad. But if I can cast Linvala, I think I'm actually uh, most likely gonna win the game. Ah, I guess we'll see. A touch of the void and an attack for 7, putting me down to 2. Well, this is the kind of situation where <laughs> There's only one card in the set that can put you back in the game, and I do have this card, so yeah. At least I, I will have cast Linvela there. <laughs> I might still lose. I still have a decent board there, and I'm at 7 though. So I guess we'll see. Alright. A Shadow Skull Recruit. I don't care about that too much. Um, my only concern now is the depleter. That being said, I have quite a bit of power there. So I can. My play is likely to be mage plus coils. Uh, I guess I can coil that, bounce this, and then. Then I can probably afford to attack only with Linvela. Uh, yeah, I could. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the best thing I can do. So, yep, let's call this. As I mentioned, let's um, bounce the vestige. I could actually um no it's an open uh, an opponent control. So I cannot bounce my own Linvala. Um <clears throat> and I don't think that would would be the right play anyway. I'm a bit too far behind to afford to do that, especially since I could not cast it next turn. Um yeah, and anyway I cannot you know I cannot target Linvala, so I think it's quite easy there. And yup, let's start to beat down. <laughs> All right, all right. <clears throat> Maybe I should have attack with the angel two to have a better clock. I don't really know. Don't really want to take too many unnecessary damage. I'm at seven. The opponent can drain twice each turn now. So yeah, I don't think I wanted to go down to uh, potentially five, which is three of the death letter. Yeah, I don't think that um, attacking with the angel was the right play last turn. It might be now. Ooh. <laughs> and that's a top deck, ladies and gentlemen. So let's drag that thing away. First thing first. Uh, whew, that was great. My deck is crazy, though. <laughs> that's l that, that's definitely the craziest uh, deck I ever got to play in Limited. Uh, four color control in Vala is <laughs> and it's it's sweet too. It is really sweet. Uh, so I guess since this will get removed, I can afford to attack with my uh, two flyers now. And this is not a... Yeah, actually it's a two-turn clock because of, because of the Cindermau Hellion. So <laughs> Linvala might just win me the game. 
Alright, that's completely crazy. That's probably one of the best match I ever got to play. Also, you know, the oven was not like having mana issues, being flooded or screwed or something like that. It, it, my deck just happened to do what I hope it would do. And uh, if he plays a Vestige there, it's gonna be a win. If he plays a, a, a Chain Mage, it's also gonna be a win for me. Alright. Alright, that's extremely sweet. Well, I can attack with the whole squad. Jesus! <laughs> what a sweet deck and, and sweet games too, that was crazy. Uh, I should not have attacked uh, with everything I, I guess, but I don't think it matters in the end, so... You know, it's fine. Let's just make sure I didn't auto-yield. Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, well, and now I play my fourth basic land, cast the Hellion, and game! <laughs> that was probably one, yeah, that's just the best match I ever got to play. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I see you guys for round two.